welcome to Natty's Home Cooking and today I'm going to show you guys how to do my how I do my holiday roasted turkey. Um, for our turkey we don't really get that big of a turkey and we just go with about a 14 pound to 14 to 20 um, so that's usually what we go with. Now I do use the Greek yogurt. What I do is I put it in a pan um, and I'll do the mixing before I start shoving it into the turkey. So this is gonna be what we're gonna be adding on top of the turkey. So we'll start off with the Greek yogurt. Just do a couple of scoops of it. And then we're gonna also gonna do some liquid smoke. And just do you know several uh, squirts in there <clears throat> and then also Italian seasoning some cayenne pepper and then paprika and sea salt be generous with the sea salt because it will cook into the turkey this is what makes it moist and um, you know taste that the flavor will be coming in there uh, black pepper garlic powder and and I do use quite a bit of garlic powder with this <clears throat> some poultry seasoning and I just do this for some flavor and then I use pineapple juice and not the pineapples. The pineapples I save for my ham. And I only use a little bit of that pineapple juice. Um, I also, whenever we garden, um, do gardening, we always save our carrot leaves. And I use the carrot leaves on top of my turkey. It's really, really, it has a good flavor to it. So I'll blend this all up, mix it very, very well till it blends all the way down. And remember guys this is how I do my turkey I'm not saying you have to do it this way this is just an idea that you know another way of doing it if you want to do it this way but yeah so anyway you're just gonna mix this up really really well and then once you get this all mixed up what we're gonna end up doing is preparing our turkey before we start adding it to it okay so I'm gonna get a I'm going to go ahead and uh, melt some butter and place it in here to this um, baking dish. And then what I'm going to do is get my turkey and I'm going to pat down my turkey. I'm going to clean it all out, get the little plastic bag that's in there, take that out, make sure everything is completely out of the chicken, like the neck and everything. Dry it off before you start adding everything, okay? So this way it's ready to go. So everything is all good. Now we're going to start adding our mixture into this, into the pockets, but you want to loosen up that skin on top of the breast there so that you're able to stuff the mixture inside there. Okay. So, all right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Add that mixture. Yes, it's going to be kind of sloppy, but make sure you cover everything as best as you can. Okay, now what I'm going to do is do the filling for the turkey. So I'm going to chop up these apples here, um, make sure to take out those seeds. I always save the seeds so I can plant them so we can have our apple trees in the backyard. Um, but anyway, I'm going to dice these up kind of into little halves here. And um, we're going to put it into the silver dish there with that has butter in it. So we're gonna add those in there. Now this, we're not done yet, so we gotta chop up some onions. We're gonna add more carrot leaves. You can do carrot or you can do the, the leaves. I love the leaves. I think the leaves give it a better flavor. I add my poultry seasoning, I add, um, some liquid smoke and I just mix it up really really well and I did add some celery to that too as well all right now we're just gonna go ahead and stuff that all inside this cavity and then we'll wrap it up and put it in the oven okay so whenever I cook my turkey I always cook it around 
300 to 375 that's if if I start it late at night I'll cook it on really low and then let it cook kind of most of the night it depends on when I want to have my turkey dinner usually we do it at lunchtime or you know right after lunch but anyway so I'm gonna just let this smoke up a little bit but I'm going to make sure all my seasonings are all added I mean I'm adding more carrot leaves on top of this turkey um, so that um, I can make sure everything is seasoned well and it's covered up really good too as well now I do put mine in a paper sack on each end now if you're not going to be in a kitchen I wouldn't suggest it I do it just so that because I'm gonna be down in the kitchen cooking majority of the day and I watch it so I keep a very close eye on it that's why I said I keep it kind of on low when I'm cooking my turkey now for the inside um, of the turkey the stuff that I saved I'm actually going to boil this stuff here because I do want to keep these things that are in the bag the turkey neck I don't keep but this stuff here I do keep and I did a video on my stuffing and I use these two um, the liver and the gizzard I think it is I use that in my Thanksgiving um, dressing so it tastes very 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 good I mean I a lot of people that are like oh my gosh I can't believe you use that but it's very very good um, I'm gonna put some poultry seasoning into this with it as well because I do want to have this broth the the turkey broth I need that for my um, stuffing so this is why I keep the the uh, gizzard and the, the liver and the turkey neck so that I can have this broth. So I'm gonna add some sage, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of sea salt, and some water, and I'm just gonna add that in there. And I'm also gonna chop up some onions and add it to it as well. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, you guys don't have to do it this way. This is just another extra step that I use for my gravy because I use like I said I use the broth I use it for my gravy. I use it for some of my uh, Dressing as well. Okay All right, so we're gonna get back to the turkey because we got to baste it because it you know the turkey has been cooking now for about Three and a half to four hours. I do need to baste it and make sure the moisture stays onto this turkey it looks really good so I'm going to keep basting the turkey throughout the day until it is completely done and then at the end what I usually do so it'll brown up a little bit is I take the the thing off the topping off and I let it cook so it can get kind of like a crispy brown <clears throat> you can broil it at the very end for like maybe 10 minutes and let it get more brown if you want just keep an eye on it when you do that because this way you don't burn it but doing it this way it keeps it nice and moist it tastes great the flavors are amazing um, when you try this turkey you're gonna love it because it's so so good it just it holds the moisture into this it's just with that Greek yogurt it gives it a different flavor with every all the spices that we added to this okay I'm just gonna kind of show you what it looks like all the way around here it's actually done it looks so good oh my goodness we're gonna get ready to cut this start carving it and when we do start carving this it just like falls apart the moisture you can see the moisture into the meat it's really really good um, Oh my goodness and then you add a little bit of dressing and and uh, gravy the brown uh, turkey gravy it tastes so good look how pretty that is just by cutting it and the flavor was so good oh my gosh beautiful 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 anyway guys I just want to say thanks so much for watching my video don't forget to like and subscribe and you all have a wonderful and safe and Merry Christmas Happy Holidays.